All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Collapsible Barricade and Deployable Force Field mod, which is being made by user Leia the Unknown. And what this glorious little piece of work looks at into the game is, well, exactly what the name says there, Collapsible Barricades and Deployable Force Fields that you can use to keep your butt safe in a tough firefight. And I love these kinds of mods. In fact, we've looked at two other similar mods in the past, and I just always like the ability to chuck out there some sort of barricade that can help keep you safe, whether it is a tough fight, or you're just wanting to use it as another fun tactical option in just any old fight. It's good times. So let me jump on over here and have a look at what we do get with starting with the collapsible barricade. Now, both of these do function effectively as landmines, so the stats are going to be similar to those, though damage wise surprisingly they actually do some at one point of damage and with a firing rate of a zero range of 93 accuracy of zero and being a large metal barricade a pretty hefty weight of 12. now as for the force field we're gonna have similar stats there the damage one fire rate zero range 93 accuracy of zero but this is a much smaller unit and so it only weighs two now both of them though are still quite a lot larger than a standard frag grenade as you can see here the force field being fairly comparable but oh boy look at that barricade it is much larger and that of course is in its undeployed state once we do deploy it it's even bigger good times indeed now all in all though they are just some you know nice little bits of kit i do actually like how they do look in our inventory uh the force field looks as exactly the same as it does out in the world when it's deployed it's just you'll have a force field out here uh the collapsible barricade is well a barricade in its collapsed state so it's just a giant hunk of metal now as for how you do get your hands on one of these things it's pretty darn simple once you got the mod installed you can go to any chemistry station in the world and build them in this new barricades category up at the top where you can build the collapsible barricade for five screws four springs and two or 12 steel rather and it has no perk that you're going to need to get it built which makes sense for something that's again just a big old hunk of metal now the deployable force field on the other hand, well, you're going to need rank three of science because it is a very sciencey thing, and you'll need six circuitry, five fiber optics, two nuclear material, and four plastic. So resource-wise, not that bad. But again, yeah, you will need that rank three in science. Good times. Now, once you have them, they function exactly the same as any landmine would in the world. You just kind of, you know, chuck them out after you have them selected like any grenade, and boom, you'll have a barricade that you can chuck out there. And if we switch on over to the deployable force field, that one is going to work exactly Exactly the same. We chuck out the little projector and boom, we got our force field. Now, a fun part about these is that they are not single use. Once you do chuck them into the world, you can go up to them and, well, collapse the force field or, of course, collapse the barricade here. Now, on the barricade, you're just going to want, you know, look at any part of it since it is just, again, a giant hunk of metal. And there you go. For the force field, you can either look at the emitter itself or the force field itself and yeah that's all you gotta do there now i gotta admit between the two of these i actually prefer just this big old collapsible barricade because it is big look at how big this thing is it is offering you quite a lot of protection and uh yeah which is pretty darn cool and no matter where they shoot the enemy will not be able to penetrate its wonderful metallic armor now of course same thing with the force field of course the bullets are just gonna bounce off those two or well get absorbed really but it's just such a small little area for you to hide behind it does have a cool effect that i do like of uh with how you see the world through it at an angle of you know has that cool sort of almost negative effect though when you look straight through after your back up a bit it is just the normal as or the normal world as per usual but yeah it's just such a small thing neat effect but yeah i prefer this because it's just so much the one downside is it does have these bars here so if you do want to move around back and forth you kind of either get stuck if you're up too close or you actually kind of get raised up a bit which means you get shot <laughs> so 
<laughs> Both have their upsides and downsides, but personally, I definitely do prefer the collapsible barricade. But both are certainly fun, and if you're going with a more tech-focused character, that force field is good. Now, again, either way you go, though, they are going to stop the bullets of your enemies. If we actually uh, spawn a, a raider over here real quick and then just jump behind those. <laughs> there we go. Just pop that and run away. There we go. Haha, -ha, you can't shoot me now, can you, sir? I mean, you can try, but you're just going to end up shooting this barricade here. Oh, God, unless he walks around. Hello. He's walking around. There we are. Now you can see I did get shot a little bit in the head because, well, we're crouched, but our body is, of course, still has a little bit exposed. So it's not perfect, but it will certainly help you out, survive a tougher fight, and make sure that you don't die quite as quickly. And I do like it, so it's not perfect cover, but it's still pretty darn effective. And yeah, just all in all, I think a fun mod. So if you would like to look at this for yourself, because, I mean, really nothing else to talk about on this thing. It's just a fun barricade. I would certainly say that you do check it out. It is a neat little thing. And uh, you can have a look at the link in the description if you would like to. But that's going to be it for this one. Hopefully you have enjoyed and you come back for whatever it is that we do look at next. But until that time... Oh, thank you for watching, and as always, we'll have a good one.